because you can just kind of cheese them. There's a lot of cheesiness in this run. Cheesiness intensifies. Grab this, because we can. Let's not get killed by the giant. Oh. Frame perfect dodges. So we can kind of get rid of that. Alright. Kind of an empty place. There's not really anyone here. Hello? Is anyone home? Should we grab the armor set that's here, actually? Hmm, I'm thinking. Kirk. Kirk. Kirk! Oh god, yeah, I should get the elevator. Sorry, Kirk. I'll be back in a second, babe. Ow. <laughs> so, actually, I'm gonna test something, since obviously I'm looping back around to the bonfire now. What happens if I interact with Gale? Whilst I have an invader in my world. Asking the real questions. Okay. I, I suppose I still get taken to Ariandel. Cool beans. Cool beans. Yeah, so, okay, right. So, <laughs> basically, yeah, you just get sent out to a different place. Oh, that's kind of cool, I suppose. Suck to be an invader at that point. Oh well, let's hope we can get through here without dying. Because I think the enemies here will actually do significantly more damage than those in previous areas. I know the wolves can do a lot of damage. Ashes of Arundel. That's what we're running through right now, you know? See ya. Give me that large shot. Thank you. Thank you for your patronage. Is there a message, though? I want to know what that message says. That is the most elusive message in the world. Don't you just wonder, like, when you see messages in really weird places and you think to yourself, someone spent time trying to do that. Spooky. Too spooky for me. I remember when, um... My, uh... I actually showed the DLC to my friend. Um my best friend, and he basically was playing through it, and I remember he got to that section. Um, obviously, the, the scream. The part where one of the Corvians screams at you. And I remember just looking at his face um, when he got to that point. Jumped out of his seat, and the look on his face is if, like, he would literally just looked into the abyss or something, and he'd lost his soul. He was white in the face, and I don't think I've seen the guy more terrified in his life. I don't think he was expecting it, and to be honest, neither was I when I first ran through here. It's a pretty good, pretty good way of spooking people, I suppose. Oh! Please don't do that. Well, that was awkward. Please stop doing that, it's very unhygienic. Thank you. If you're regurgitating that much liquid, maybe you should get that checked out, sir. I don't know if you can hear in the background right now, but there's a lot of banging going on downstairs. My neighbor is kind of a strange person. He, um, 
lives entirely by himself, yet at like three, four o'clock in the morning, literally just sits there shouting at the top of his voice, telling things to go away and such. In a way, it's kind of terrifying, but hey ho, what you gonna do? All right, Wilhelm, it's time for the one v one. Time and time again. Bring it, fam. Every fleeing man must be caught. Every secret must be. You know, I'm I'm jealous of this guy's voice. Such is the conceit of the self-proclaimed secret. Can I have this voice, please? But in the end, <laughs> this voice sounds incredible. For the agony that you'll bring upon yourself. Oh! Learned your lesson. Oh! I suppose that's his answer to me having his voice. Wait a minute, I just realized something. Why am I even here? This is a completely optional area, why am I even here? Oh yeah, fashion souls. We've gotta get Wilhelm's armor, that's that's the objective. We must avenge ourselves. I thought I was out of the weapons range. Excuse me Ezio. Oh. Well, that can happen as well. Well, this just went from, like, bad to worse. Like, way worse than it needed to be. He's like a fragging youth thinking that they can jump around to be all stylish and everything. Excuse me, sir, did I tell you that you could do that to me? Look at the look at this guy. It's Ezio Auditore. Is he gonna follow me? Would you stop that, sir? Alright, I'm gonna quit out. Just so I can get rid of the aggro. What is the lesson that we've learnt today? Well, I guess, um, don't open the gate. It's, it's not really worth it, let's just run around. Because that way we don't have to deal with, um, Altair or whatever the name is. I, I don't really like the Assassin's Creed series. I don't, I don't know who they are. Don't have to deal with Assassin's Creed over there. Ah, <sighs> right, let's try that again. Alright, let's do this again, dude. Let's do it. Every fleeing man must be caught. Every secret must be unearthed. Such is the conceit of the self-proclaimed seeker of truth. Over here. But in the end, you lack the stomach for the agony that you'll bring upon yourself. No, get over here. Finally. Alright, now we can cheese him. Yeah, for some reason he just doesn't attack you at this range. When he's this far away from his spawn point, he doesn't actually try to attack you. Except he can get stuck, which is really weird. Alright, so he gets stuck down here, and then basically, if you do a charged R2 with a straight sword, if he stays down there... Yeah. You do a charged R2, and then he just slides off. <laughs> It was meant to be a, a much better representation of what to do there than that, but um, he just wasn't cooperating. He wouldn't actually slide down. Darn it, Wilhelm. Why are you like this? Running through, ah, oh, she's very handle, because it's actually relatively short if you know where you're going. 
then it's kind of a short DLC anyway. It's a good DLC, it's just not worth the asking price for it. I think that's the biggest problem with this DLC. It's good, but again, not worth the asking price. A boss with three phases is not, you know, worth... How much was it? Again, like... I think it was eleven ninety nine over here or something. Again, it's it's just that price is a bit too much for the kind of lack of content that's going on here. Like, it's not a huge lack of content, but it isn't exactly chocked full of stuff. Kind of like the Ring City, really. The Ring City is definitely a worthwhile add-on. But Ashes of Ariandel, on the other hand... Again, it's worth it, but if it were cheaper, it'd be much better. I'm just sad that there's no more DLC. But, at the same time, you know, it ended in a really, really cool way, because, well, consider all the ways it could have ended. And then just look at, like, how the fight between yourself and Gale is constructed at the very end of it, and, I don't know, it, it just, all in all, it kind of sums up what the series is about, and I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. Alright. Now, can we get this? Excuse me, sir. Ew, I hate these enemies. They're, like, the noises they make are far too accurate. Ew. Ew, please. They're, like, way, way too accurate to, like, the real-life counterparts. We did it, we successfully got out. Oh, we fashion souls now, boys, except for the fact that we actually can't wear this much armor. Whoops. Uh, perfect. Andre, do I not look manly to you? Answer me honestly, babe. There we go, so we can just buy those, and then we can go get the weapon upgraded, and we're all good. Yeah. So plus four, plus four longsword. Nice. Yeah, without a few of these. And we're all good. Cool. Um... Right. Let's go. Ah, that is the wrong way. Now, alas, there is uh, kind of a high chance of failure here, so um, I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> Gotta be honest. Obviously, it's only deacons at the deep, but still. See you, nerds. There we go. And we've got a very cool armor setup going on. Get some more health, and we should be good. Please don't day assault me. Okay, thank you. All right, deacons, let's do it. Now, oh, I actually do decent damage. Wasn't expecting that. I, however, cannot comprehend running into an object. Incredibly high speeds. It, it moved. Oh, of course, because it went to one of the fat ones. It's like, wait a minute. 
If I go to one of the skinny ones, it's too easy. Out of the way, please. Oh no, don't do that. Move. Oh my god! I was closer than I needed. Damn it. We get our best Joe's Roy impression on. So that wasn't too bad. Apart from at the very end. That uh, was very close. Very, very close. But hey, we did it. So things are looking good. But our next stop is unfortunately the Abyss Watchers. This may not be nearly as fun.